It's hard to say, pinpoint one thing, probably first thing that comes to mind, turnovers, or, uh, turning the ball over. It reminded me a little bit of, uh, of the OKC game. Their rhythm was high, they were in passing lanes, they were aggressive. Um, I think that's the first thing that comes to mind, but overall I think uh, it's just ugly game, ugly game from us, I think, you know, uh, couldn't really get going, play as a team, a little bit, not our best, not our best game, but uh, we'll have a pro home stretch in front of us and, uh, and we will figure it out. What shifted after the 10-0 start? What? Ah, um, good question, good question, I don't know, you know, it's obviously, we made, we, we started off pretty good, um, Good question. I don't know. You know, they they <laughs> called the timeout. They made a run, and then we kind of. I think we went into the mindset of just kind of playing uh, back and forth. You know, exchanging baskets a little bit. Like, okay, the game's going, uh, but they just stepped it up even more, and they, they they kept the pressure on us, and they made the runs and finished the half strong, and we just didn't respond the way the way uh, to the way that they were playing. You guys have generally been good at protecting the ball this year. What's been different lately? Uh, don't know. Don't know. Uh, maybe risking too much, being trying to be over aggressive in some situations. Um, we didn't have a good rhythm on offense, and that's also not just our fault. But they, they're they're great. They're good with their hand. They're aggressive. Uh, we we our spacing was bad or like I don't know it's just things didn't click for us tonight the way you, the way they lately have been uh, so yeah I don't know. Coach said that he wants to get the team to generate more threes, mm -hmm. not just from penetration and kickouts, but in the quarter court. What other ways do you think the team can get threes rather than drive and kick? I think we have to stay playing fast. I think why we were good for stretch now was our transition. You know, Kuz, Rui, when those guys get out, uh, it's hard to stop them in transition. Uh, but also take care of the ball. Corey, same way, he always runs hard. Um, taking care of the ball and, and, and running and, and, and if your teammate runs, Give him the ball, you know, award him, even if it's not a shot for him, but to just for everybody to feel good on offense, you know, and I think that will make your teammate make that next effort, you know, whether it's a cut or running in transition and so on. So I think we have to keep keep staying aggressive in transition and for our shooters like Corey and uh, and, and mixed shooters that we have, you know, we have to keep taking those transition threes. Those are good looks. If they're open, we have to keep taking them and, and they'll be there for us. What did you like about the quarter court spacing tonight, and what do you think needs to be improved to take care of the ball a little bit better? Mm. I think it may be just uh, opening up the court, like getting to the corners when there's a pick and roll, opening the court for everybody, or for the point guard to attack or to create, and um, yeah, not creeping up. I think I think that's one one of the things we're doing lately, and I'm also guilty of that. Um, and yeah, it's it's fresh. I have to rewatch the situations and and see, but uh, that's the feeling right now after the game. This was the 41st game of the year, so it's uh, the midway point. How would you sum up the first half of the season? Up and down. Good good start, then the bigger losing streak. And now we're kind of getting back to um, to playing better basketball, and now we're getting a couple of games that we're not looking like ourselves. Um, obviously, we are missing Brad. You know, we uh, we're a different team with him, um, and it's been it's been tough for us also to get a good rhythm because we have had some injuries and some not not the best luck with that. You know, Milan was out for a long time, Rui was out for a while, and Brad's in and out. And, Hopefully he can get healthy, and, um, and we can make a real run, and, make, uh, and we can show who we are. You know, because it's it's hard. It's hard for us to 
uh, to be the same team when we all don't have the same players. Uh, so every game is an adjustment, and and yeah, and, and we wanna we wanna look better than this, obviously, you know. But tonight's a tough night, and, and have to take it on the chin and, and keep going, keep keep learning the game, keep keep seeing what we can do better, and sooner or later we'll be all back together and, and we'll show that we can look like a like a good team. Chris Phelps, can you summarize Wes's message after the game? Uh, now, like the post game speech? Yeah. Uh, you already know what it was, or are you asking me? No, I'm asking you. I'm, uh, I'm asking you. Uh, kind of the same thing. The same thing. He, uh, he said, you know, it's hard to say what, uh, uh, what really you know, made the score that way, but for him, the you know, first feeling was the turnover. We just got to take care of the ball. I think we also felt that way, you know. There was, they were in the passing lanes. They were aggressive, and and we were going a little bit, uh, a little bit too careless with the ball against a team like that. And also, as a big, I feel like you know we we probably should have done a better job on Valanciunas. He was, in, you know, he's a big, big body. Credit to him. Uh, we were out of position a lot of times, and he was able to get those offensive boards and and, and seals and. Um, and he had a great game, um, so I think uh, each player has to look at what they could have done better in this game, and um, and, yeah, and move forward, move forward. But learn, learn. We need to, we need to learn. We need to learn how to how to how to play as a team and how to play better basketball uh, for each other. And uh, and when we do that, you, we we have great nights and look like we can make some real noise. So, um, but yeah figure out uh, who we are and, and just have consistency. Thank you. Thank you. What's just the mood in the locker room after back-to-back -back disappointing losses? Uh, not great, of course, you know. Uh, but some, some uh, uh, assistant coaches stepped up, said what they what they wanted to say. And I think we're, we're, we're staying strong as a group. We want to uh, overcome this, and, 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 and especially at home. We don't want to lose a game like this, you know, so. I think everybody's feeling a little bit of that weight that uh, we need to bounce back from this as, as soon as possible. Um, and it starts with us players. You know, we have to play, play better. Co coaches can't play for us, uh, but uh, they will they will give us. I'm sure they give, they will give us their best effort on, on their part. So we just got to go out there and execute. What uh, bumps and bruises are you leaving this game with? Oh, I'm good. I'll be good. Yeah, we have a day in between. I'll be good to go next game. Hey, JP, uh, Coach and Kuzer said they would like to see sometimes when teams adjust to you all. Was there anything you all did tonight that you feel like the Pelicans had to adjust that was working? Uh, that uh, I was doing? Or who? Just team-wise. Was there anything that I you guys were doing? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, from my eyes, for example, uh, what they were doing. There are now teams are sending the help from the baseline, especially on my post-ups. And, uh, and I had to find the next pass, the, the right pass, the right play. And that's something I worked on yesterday, and, and, and I need to keep working on to create advantages for my teammates. Uh, I, I would say, I don't know, 50% of the time I did the right thing, but uh, uh, 50 could have been a better decision. So I'm going to look at those, what I can do better, and what open looks I can get for my teammates. And, uh, and then I think we all got to, yeah, we all got to look at our own games, our own, you know, things we can do better and, and clean those up and, and uh, put it all together. Thank you.